Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a brand new video and as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, this is another Blu-ray hunt and this one took place in London. Now it actually went a few weeks ago so I do apologise for the lack of uploading but I did come back with Covid, unfortunately I was ill for a few days and then had to work from home as well. So yeah, the video is up a few weeks late, I do apologise again but I hope you enjoyed the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the footage of what I got from down London and then at the end of the video I will show you guys what I picked up. Overall I had a great time, Coldplay were great, London's a fantastic city and I can't wait to go back. Okay guys, so first stop is CEX here in Camden. Really cool store, getting straight into it with a lamb on Blu-ray from the movie collection, £12 with a slip as well. Really good condition on that one. Here we have Fantastic Beast for £5 on the 4K. Really, really good deal here in CEX. And we do also have the sequel. This one is £10 and again with a slip cover, both in really, really good condition, I have to say. Moving on, we have the Ten Commandments on Steelbook. This is also 4K, £18. Good condition, I have seen better. Moving on now, we have They Live, £32 for the 4K. This is the regular. Why is this so expensive? Please let me know down below in the comments. I was baffled by this in the store. Then we do have The Thing as well on 4K, £15 for this regular 4K. Great title, good release and a good price as well. Moving on to the next title here is Top Gun for £12. This is the premium collection, which is an exclusive to HMV, but here it is in CEX. The next store we visited was this store here near to Covent Garden. I have seen this featured on Movie Bugs channel before. Really cool store. Glad I found it. Got loads of memorabilia from DC to Warner Brothers. You can see here some chess boards, Lord of the Rings there, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park. And then in this corner, we had a signed memorabilia collection. All sorts going on here. Daniel Radcliffe. We have Tom Felton. Helena Bonacarta. Some really cool pieces. Jason Isaacs as well there. Fantastic. I'm so glad I found this store. Really, really do recommend you checking it out. Moving on to this Game of Thrones section. Look at those dragon eggs. The throne at the top there. Oh, wow. I really wanted to buy loads. And then we have the Troy helmet. Um... 2004 movie, great movie, I love it. And then some more memorabilia there. There is the Mega Store for Ben and Planet. And then moving on to FOP. This is the next stop on my list. Heading into store to see what they have. Hopefully some good 4Ks, Blu-rays. We'll have to wait and see. But heading straight into the store now. Heading downstairs. And I really loved these posters on the wall. Spider-Man, Dune, Scream there. Last Night in Soho. Really nice touch in the store. And then we have the Dirty Dancing 4K Steelbook. This is £30. I don't own this, but I do like the artwork. And then we have another Steelbook. This is The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It. Also £30 here in FOP. And then we have a fairly new release in Heat on 4K for £20. And I have not seen this movie. I really want to check it out, but I'll wait until the 2 for 30 deal. Sonic here, this is the sequel, £25, again a fairly new release, I love this artwork and this is exclusive to HMV, it also comes with a little comic book inside. Now we stumbled upon this in Leicester Square, can you guys believe it, this is the House of Dragon premiere at Leicester Square, I could not believe that we stumbled upon this, it was awesome, we've seen a few cast members walk in on the other side. It was great, the atmosphere was good, and it was just fun to watch, um, even though we didn't stick around for the entire thing. But so far, I'm loving House of Dragon, and to be there for the first episode was pretty cool. Now, we are moving on to some sightseeing very quickly. There is Big Ben. I found this awesome spot, which i seen on TikTok. I loved this spot. It was so quiet. Got a great view of Big Ben, and already straight away back into shopping mode. Moving on to HMV in Westfield. This was the Westfield Centre. Really do recommend you checking it out. Some great titles in here. Not the best store, but straight away we have Avatar on Blu-ray. £6.99 in the sale. I haven't seen this in such good condition, so I may have to pick this one up. 
And then looking at the sales section, I've got a few TV shows there, Ballers, Legends of Tomorrow, Teen Titans, Arrow down there. We see Gotham on a buy one, get one free. Pretty cool deal. Some more Gotham. And then we've seen Annette on Blu-ray, 10.99. I don't own this one, but my movie collection is slowly growing. And this stars Adam Driver, who is one of my favourite actors. So we may have to pick this up. The next stop and the final stop of this trip is CEX in Wembley. On the day of Coldplay, going to go check out the store and see what they have. Quite a big store as well, pretty impressed. Looking at the Blu-rays, we have Uncharted here for £10. Fairly new release as well. We also have X. This one is £12. This is a newer release compared to Uncharted. And this is a bargain, this next one. This is Bohemian Rhapsody, £6 for the 4K. Great deal. And then we have Fargo on Blu-ray for £3. Really good watch, guys. If you haven't seen this, I would recommend this as well. And then we have Predator for £15. This is secondhand. You can get it for that price, brand new as well, from HMV. And then we have a few more titles here. This is the Scream Trilogy for £10. It contains the first, second and the third as well. And then a movie called Downsizing starring Matt Damon for £2.50. And then lastly, one thing that I hate is these cover reprinted. And this time it is on The Crow. Still £8.00. Too pricey. It is a no from me. And time for some ice cream in Cineworld. Needed to be refreshed and just look at these flavours. Blue raspberry sherbet is a must. Just look at my Sunday and then just look at this view of Wembley Stadium. Heading into Coldplay for a great concert. Had a great time. And just look at the fun we were all having on the floor standing. It was great. The music was fantastic. If you haven't been to a Coldplay concert, get yourself down there. It is truly amazing. And then the next day we went to Camden. Again, the weather wasn't great. Got a great shot of these little umbrellas inside. Had some food and thought I'd finish off the video footage with a nice shot of a tube. And yeah, overall, guys, London is such a cool place. And I just really do recommend it. If you haven't been, get down there and visit. So as you guys seen from the footage there, I did head to Forbidden Planet. Now we actually went on two occasions during the trip to London. I didn't film the second. However, I did pick up three things in total, but I just want to say the mega store is fantastic. If you haven't been, I highly, highly recommend going. It is the best in the UK. They've got everything from graphic novels, comics, to movie memorabilia, Funko Pops, action figures. It's great. It really, really is. But the first thing that I want to show you guys is this book right here. This was in the sales section for £4.99. It is the art and the making of the movie Gemini Man. A really good film. If you haven't seen it again, definitely, definitely uh, would recommend it. I've seen it on 4K and it's fantastic. So I thought I'd pick this up for £4.99. I'm not really a collector of these art books, but when you see them for this price, you simply can't leave them there. So that was the first thing that I picked up and I can't wait to check it out and learn a little bit more about the movie because I really did enjoy Gemini Man. The next thing that I picked up from Forbidden Planet is a Funko Pop. This one is Gimli from Lord of the Rings. It was 11 99 which is a great price considering online was much, much higher. Let me show you guys the side. It is 629 in the collection. And then I'll spin it around to the back so you can see who else comes in this set. Now, the reason I got this is basically I am going to Edinburgh Comic Con in November. No, October. October. Wow, it's going to be in a few weeks' time. Crazy. But anyway, I'm going to the uh, Comic Con Scotland in Edinburgh. And I am going to be meeting um, the actor who plays Gimli in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So super excited to meet him. Um, hopefully that goes ahead and he doesn't cancel last minute but I thought I'd pick up this item and get it signed at the convention so yeah fingers crossed it happens guys really nice Funko Pop and I'm happy to have it in the collection then on my second visit to the Forbidden Planet store I did pick up another Funko Pop this one I seen on my first visit and I left it there I was a bit indecisive and I went back and picked it up so I got another Funko uh, this was in the sale I believe and it was 6 99 for Fennec Shand. Now the main reason I got this is because I thought, well, if Ming Na Wen ever does a signing in the UK again, this would be great um, to get signed by her at a convention. So I thought I'd get it. $6.99 is a great price in the sale. Uh, uh, number 483 in the collection. And again, 
to show you guys the back to see who else is in the set. Um, yeah, really nice Funko Pop. I love The Mandalorian. I love The Book of Boba Fett. I love Star Wars in general. And this was a Funko Pop I really liked. And for $6.99, a great price. Moving on to some physical media pickups. I didn't go wild in London, unfortunately. I had high hopes. And I was hoping that there'd be so many good things um, during the trip. But unfortunately, it just didn't end up that way. Now, I did go to FOP, as you've seen in the video. No pickups there. Um, nothing was really catching my eye and I was kind of hoping that there was a HMV nearby. Now I didn't actually get a chance to go the same day however I did manage to go to HMV in Westfield London as you've seen in the footage there. So two pickups in total from the store. Again nothing fantastic it wasn't the best um, although the Westfield shopping centre is fantastic. So many cool things in there. Now we only seen a very very small section of it because we were on a bit of a tight schedule. But anyway, two things that I want to show you guys. The first being um, a movie I've seen so many times in CEX and online for very cheap, but the conditions always been quite poor. Um, I got this for six ninety nine. Some people may be like, "Well, why have you paid that?" It's a little bit pricey for what it is because again, in CEX it's very very cheap. Um, but this was brand new, sealed in the sale, and I got it. Um, it is what it is. I picked up Avatar on Blu-ray. This is like some sort of um, collector's edition right here. Uh, you get a few things with it as well, I believe. Um, so for £7 for an incredible movie, that's going to look great. I do believe you will get a 4K this year. Um, now, I am going to order that because I think the 4K will be amazing. But I wanted to own this on Blu-ray as well. So I have this in the collection now for £6.99. So not too bad. And then the second item that I got from HMV in Westfield is another Blu-ray. This one was also slightly in the sale, £10.99 with a slip. So I was super, super happy to find this. Um, I picked up another movie title. This is Annette. And it also stars Adam Driver, who is one of my favourite actors. So very, very happy to have this in the collection. I've never seen it. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I've heard great things. Um, I really love the slip on this one. Uh, the colours are great. But yeah, my uh, movie collection is building up nicely and this was a great price, so very, very happy. During my trip to London, I did go to a few CEX stores. Again, nothing fantastic. The selections weren't great, unfortunately. I was really, really hoping that I'd find some hidden gems. However, on my, um, my trip to Wembley, uh, going to see Coldplay, we actually stumbled across the CEX store in Wembley and it was really good. It had some really, really good stuff in it. Now, I picked up something which I've been after for quite some time. And I got this for a very, very good price. And I'm so happy that I have it in the collection. And I can't wait to check out the 4K. So, basically, I picked up The Guest on 4K. This is the second site release. As you can see, this was sealed brand new in the store. They had three of them. One was open and the other two um, were like this, sealed, but cut open so that they could check the contents of the box. They can't sell brand new stuff. They have to legally open them to sell it as a secondhand shop. Um, blown away. Really, really am blown away. This is in mint condition. I believe it's £50 online. And I got this for £35, brand new. I can't believe it. So very, very happy. This was the find of the trip. Um, again, I didn't do too much shopping. I didn't drag anyone around the shops. I nipped in a couple as we were passing. I didn't go out my way to find movies, which makes a change. But this was a very, very good find in Wembley, London. Super, super happy to have it in the collection. And it's going to look amazing on 4K. Super, super happy to have this. Well, guys, that is it for today's video. I do hope you've had a really good time watching. I know I had a good time down in London. It was great. Coldplay was fantastic. The food was amazing. And overall, the city is a vibe. And I can't wait to go back at some point. Probably next year, because later on this year, I do have a few plans already. Which also includes another Blu-ray Hunt video coming very, very soon. In another big city here in the UK. So please stay tuned to the channel for that one. I am also meeting up with a fellow Bluetuber as well. So that is going to be really good and fun. I can't wait for that. If you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like. 
and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you can as well, go follow me over on Instagram at the movie insider. Links will of course be down below. If you've picked up anything as well over the past couple of weeks, leave a comment, let me know what you've been buying. I'm always interested in talking movies with you guys. Overall, I'm very happy with the things that I picked up from London. I probably could have bought more, but I didn't go down there for that. I went down there for Coldplay, spent some time with some family as well, and I didn't drag anyone around in the shops, which was a bonus. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned to the channel for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.